How you doing Cali Crowd? Training on parallettes versus the floor is a big question in bodyweight fitness and when it comes to the L-sit there's a debate on which should be pursued. The L-sit is a personal favourite for me, it's what got me into this crazy world of calisthenics and it will always have a place in my heart as being the first skill I mastered. But today we're going to be going through what variant is better, L-sit on parallettes or L-sitting on the floor? and ultimately decide on which you should be going for and why based on your goals. Let's get into it starting with the most obvious, the height off the ground. When we perform the L-sit, we're essentially contracting the hip flexors and the rectus abdominis and depressing the scapula at near end range in order to get our legs straight and our bums off the ground. On parallettes though, we're afforded more space beneath us and we can get away with not contracting as hard to get a similar L-sit aesthetic. But as we all know, we don't just care about how things look on this channel, and if we're talking about developing great compression strength, the L-sit on the floor cannot be topped. So round one goes to the floor L-sit. Let's move on to the wrists. On the floor, the L-sit forces the wrists into almost maximal extension. Most people do not have this sort of mobility in their locker ready to go, especially if you spend your day typing away at your desk with your wrists flexed. Without the correct conditioning, I have seen attempts to force inflexible wrists into position manifest into cases of chronic pain in the wrists and elbows. The L-sit on parallettes, however, puts your wrists in a neutral position, which reduces the likelihood of injuries involved with less mobile wrists. And for that reason, parallettes have to take this round. And finally, we have to talk about transferability over to other skills. The L-sit, for all intents and purposes, is an entry-level calisthenics skill. When we think about upgrades to the L-sit, we tend to think of skills such as the V-sit or the L-sit pull-up or the L-sit to tuck plunge. All of these skills can be developed on parallettes or on the floor relatively equally, but I think the floor has to take this round. Why? Well, for all the skills I just mentioned, you still need insane compression strength and you need really good scapular depression, which doing the L-sit on the floor provides far greater incentive for you to go for. Okay, so the L-sit on the floor has come out victorious, but what does this mean? Does this mean you should completely discount the L-sit on parallettes? Of course not. L-sitting on parallettes is a lot easier and there is a lot to be said about the mental benefits of mastering a skill quickly in calisthenics. But let's say I've convinced you of the benefits of L sitting on the floor and you really want to try it out but you can't do it yet, what should you do? Well, we can still use the stimulus of the floor to build the benefits that the floor L sit gives us. What do I mean by this? One of the reasons the L sit is so difficult on the floor is because you're doing two very taxing things. Depressing your scapula under load and lifting the legs, perhaps to the extent of your flexibility. Well, we can remove one of these two things in the low L-sit. In the low L-sit, we still have the stimulus of performing it on the floor, but we create the space for our legs by performing it on a raised object. Now, over time, this coupled with general L-sit mobility drills will allow us to build up the strength to lift our legs until we can perform the full floor L-sit. That's it, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about L-sitting on parallettes versus on the floor. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.